Hello guys and welcome back to another Beat Saber video. Now if you come from one of my older videos, which isn't that old, um, on me playing the older version of Beat Saber, which as you can tell, I'm playing right now, I'm going to be showing you how to actually play this version and any version of Beat Saber that you want to play. Now this is really easy and it literally just released the same day this video is probably going to be released as well. Meaning you can play the entire of like version 1 to like the newest version of Beat Saber with the old lightsabers, all the old songs, and you know, just just, just relive the old days of Beat Saber, you know? Now, if you haven't seen the other video, I really uh, suggest that you check it out. It's just um, me going through different versions of the game, and, you know, looking at literally everything that is new. Now, before this starts, I just want to say this does work with any headset that you want. As you can see in the top right, I'm playing on the Valve Index right now. Um, so, yeah, you won't have a problem at all. Even if you're an Oculus, you can still do it, but you have to be playing through Steam VR. As you can see, these are the old sabers, you know, the ones we all miss, the ones that we actually do love. Now, you can actually use these today. Now, all it takes is to download one RAR file, which I'll link in the description, and uh, a VR headset and a PC that actually has storage on it. So here are the old walls. Look way different. Lean right. Old texture. Look really Crouch. nice. Congratulations. You are ready now. So when it actually comes to installing this program, uh, all you'll need is the file in the description which will link you to a GitHub website. Once you've got that, all you want to do is open the file and extract it. You'll see multiple folders and you'll see Beat Saber Legacy Launcher. You want to open that and as it loads up uh, really smoothly, nicely done by the developers, you'll be able to select the version and launch a game. And in the bottom left, we'll see the developers of this application. Thank you so much, you guys. It's honestly so great. So if you select select version, you'll see all the list of versions, including from the very beginning to the very end. Now what I like about this version is that you can literally choose any version you want. I'll link in the description our website which takes you to all of the versions on which it version contains so you can easily jump to which ones you want. The version I'll be selecting is 0.12 which introduces Expert Plus and the new Fancy Savers which you saw at the start of this video. When you click download, it will open up a signing page. All you've got to do is just log into your Steam account. Don't worry, this is safe. I've just done it. You've seen me play on the 0.12 version before. All this is doing is going to your Steam account and proving you've got Beat Saber. Because if you don't have Beat Saber, then you won't actually be able to do this. All this is doing is grabbing the Beat Saber file straight from the Steam database under your account so you can easily revert back to the old version of the game. And once you've signed in, it'll begin to download the version you've chosen. So yeah, once that's downloaded, make sure you have Steam VR running. And then once you've got it running, you can just back out of this menu and then click launch when you're ready and it will launch up whichever version you've chosen to download. Once you've played around with the version you want to play on, if you relaunch the Beat Saber Util, then you'll easily be able to uninstall it by the click of a button. And there you go, there you have it. If you have any questions about this software, be sure to let me know in the comments, I'll try to respond to all of them as soon as I can. Um, a big shout out to obviously the developers again for making this. This is so much easier than it was before. As before, you had to download each individual version, all the programs, and oh, it was a mess. Whereas in this, you can literally just click a button and it'll fetch it straight for you and download it. It even creates its own directory for the game so it doesn't overwrite your current Beat Saber mods or anything like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching and peace out.